Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, I wanted to do something a little bit interesting. If you've been following the news, uh, Joe Biden was recently on uh, the Rachel Maddow show and he sort of made it clear that he was dwindling it down to about four different candidates. Uh, so I thought it would be interesting to play uh, one of his vice presidential uh, picks uh, going up against Donald Trump in today's episode. Uh, so it will be an AI versus AI matchup of the senator uh, from Illinois, Tammy Duckworth, and the current president, Donald Trump. Uh, so let's scroll down and select our nominee here in our simulation, Tammy Duckworth. Now I did have to, so, uh, you know, sort of edit in Tammy Duckworth so she doesn't necessarily look like the real Tammy Duckworth here. Um, and then of course, Donald Trump. So without further ado, let's get started. And already, I really think that this is going to be a very different campaign uh, than what I think we're really going to see in 2020 with Joe Biden. Uh, Tammy Duckworth, uh, she has a remarkable military record. If you guys don't really know who Tammy Duckworth is, it's really worth the research um, to really find out more about her. Uh, she is the senator of Illinois. Uh, currently Democratic Senator and she's really come a long way she's I mean if you really research her it would almost make you want to cry um, and already here we go with the first town halls Donald Trump not making any pit stops going straight to Missouri well it looks like Tammy Duckworth is picking New Jersey for a little pit stop before heading to North Dakota I really feel like the battleground states in this election are definitely going to be the Midwest. If you think about where Tammy Duckworth is currently hailing from, um, Illinois, for example, having that Chicago background, uh, really making that Great Lakes region competitive for the Democrats uh, with Tammy Duckworth, which is probably why she's sort of on that short list for Joe Biden uh, going forward um, in that sort of top four, um, hinting that maybe Tammy Duckworth could be a vice presidential pick for Joe Biden in the 2020 election, um, definitely would shape a, a lot of minority appeal towards Joe Biden. As we move into week five, we can see a little bit of an upgrade happening with Tammy Duckworth's uh, headquarters there in Florida, uh, which is really keeping it competitive for her. Um, and then ideology points being purchased by uh, President Trump here, protecting our borders, while Tammy Duckworth makes no uh, you know, surprise stops there, just going straight to Florida. Uh, leaning that in her favor while purchasing an ideology point as well as President Trump, making that a true battleground state for Tammy Duckworth and President Trump. Uh, definitely thinking President Trump might have a campaign headquarters in Ohio being that he is leading there, but with 10% undecided, it's no surprise why Tammy Duckworth has a campaign headquarters there uh, rather than President Trump, I suppose. with Tammy Duckworth in Ohio, it looks like the Sun Belt is starting to look a little bit undecided, very independent throughout Nevada all the way through Colorado, but I suppose the same could be said for the northern midwestern portion of the United States uh, in week eight as we move through. So 
social justice being purchased for the Duckworth campaign as Donald Trump is selecting selective immigration. Uh, definitely looking like that Sun Belt is veering towards the Duckworth campaign at this time. Being that she is not coming out in anti-support for, you know, uh, closing borders and selective immigration, Texas looking like it really enjoys that uh, with slight enthusiasm boost for the Republicans over there. Uh, New Town Hall as we move into week 10. And let's see, we have a new campaign headquarters for Ms. Duckworth there in Alabama. And we have, uh, looks like a uh, intimidator, higher minimum wage being purchased by the Duckworth campaign, and an intimidator that was just put in there and then moved around by President Trump. Tammy Duckworth in Texas next to that intimidator. I'm not sure if that's really going to do her any good there in Texas, um, but she definitely has uh, really great appeal there in the uh, Sun Belt at this time. Uh, so I'm very uh, optimistic that, uh, you know, with 49, 43% in week 12, a percent undecided. She has a very good chance of winning this uh, 2020 simulation here. And here we go with the presidential uh, and vice presidential picks here. And if you take a look, it's very interesting. Tammy Duckworth picks Joe Biden. Well, Donald Trump, he picked Ronald Reagan. Um, so I'm not sure if we had some cloning here happening or uh, what have you, um, but the game is fun that way for sure. Making the South very competitive. If you take a look all throughout the South, Louisiana, all the way through Virginia, this could not be any tighter for the Republicans through the South. You would expect them to be winning by much larger margins, especially this late in an election cycle. Um, but 2020 has come with a lot of surprises, and 2020 has definitely uh, showed us that uh, you know, these candidates are, you know, coming out in areas that we might not expect them to be in. You know, for example, Donald Trump in New Hampshire, Tammy Duckworth in Colorado, uh, you have Joe Biden in Georgia, uh, you know, former president, now vice presidential candidate Ronald Reagan uh, appearing to stall out there in Illinois. Uh, so a lot happening uh, throughout the South and throughout the rest of the country, uh, pretty much looking uh, pretty solid either way. Universal health care coming out there for Tammy Duckworth trying to secure that base, and Donald Trump there uh, looking like he's sort of going to be losing that rust belt as he speaks there, uh, but trying to regain a little bit of support there in Arizona uh, before heading off to Florida. Uh, Tammy Duckworth looking like she might uh, lose Florida 50 47 uh, week 18 uh, 100 percent in both directions so looking like it's going to start dwindling down here with six percent undecided uh, Tammy Duckworth is favored to win and if we actually take a look over here in the poll section uh, we can actually see if the election were held in week 19 uh, Ms. Duckworth would win 351 to 187 against the president of the United States Donald Trump Moving in here last week before the end of the presidential week here. And a little bit of a surprise there in Kansas with uh, Tammy Duckworth coming out there uh, with the campaign headquarters. Uh, should be interesting to see how that will play into some undecideds with still about 5-6% coming into week 21. 
Um, I think it's going to be very important. New England coming out for Tammy Duckworth and um, you know Vice President Biden, uh, still Vice President Biden in the simulation, I should say. And I uh, really think that this is a situation that we could see in the 2020 election uh, in real life. Uh, however, of course, reversed uh, with Joe Biden president and Ms. Duckworth vice president. And here we go with the final call. And again, it's looking like New England will be solid for the Democrats as the night rolls in. New York heavy for Tammy Duckworth as well. But losing Pennsylvania, President Trump will hold Pennsylvania and North Carolina. He will also hold West Virginia. He will hold Florida. The president has won Florida. The president will lose Ohio. Tammy Duckworth has won Ohio. Ohio has gone to Tammy Duckworth. And Michigan has now flipped from 2016 back to the Democrats to Tammy Duckworth. However, Wisconsin will still remain in Republican control in this simulation. Moving through, Arkansas will flip. Arkansas has just flipped to Tammy Duckworth as the final results are coming in. And as the Midwest has now finally came through, it is now up to the Plains to decide if Donald Trump will get a second term. Texas heavily red for the president. However, the Sun Belt looking like it may come in heavy for Ms. Duckworth. Utah coming in. Arizona for Trump. Utah Trump. However, Nevada looking like it will go to Ms. Duckworth. 251 to 218. And Trump will win Oregon. And it's all over. Ms. Duckworth has won California and she's won in Hawaii. Alaska had no chance for the president there. Ms. Duckworth has won the day and the presidency with a strong showing in both the popular vote and the electoral college. One of the deciding factors in Ms. Duckworth's victory was her use of the ideology points, which she used excessively more than the president. Tammy Duckworth spent more money than Donald Trump, which is very surprising because, you know, Donald Trump talks a lot about money. Um, but that just goes to show you that maybe you can't buy love, but certainly you can definitely look into, you know, maybe buying a couple votes or two, I'm just saying, based off of the simulation. So, not saying that this is a guarantee, but possibly something that we could see in 2020 with Joe Biden selecting Senator from Illinois, Tammy Duckworth. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you guys thought down below and also how many episodes do you think we should have in each of our seasons of the political time machine let me know sound off down below and once again thank you guys so much for watching today's episode don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys so much